As I said before, I'm going to be talking about cooperative learning in the classroom. Um, I've written a paper on for my best practice, best teaching practice. Um, what is cooperative learning? Um, according to Hernandez, uh, team learning is about the creation of cooperative structures as part of the course design that is effective in promoting active and deep learning in the classroom. Um, what that's kind of saying is that we're trying to get away from the traditional uh, teaching methods of just lecturing to students all the time and uh, changing up a little bit for the students to get them more active, get them more um, wanting to learn in the classroom. Um, and it helps um, build their cognitive thinking skills also in the classroom too, to get them thinking on their own. Um, why is uh, cooperative learning important? Um, it builds effective communication skills. Um, it also it, um, helps their social and cognitive development. Um, it creates in classroom uh, interaction. It also creates accountability throughout the students with them working together. Uh, it also creates friendships when they're interacting with each other. If you have a student that's really shy and you have them working with other students, you're getting them to talk to each other and you're creating friendships or at least opportunity for them to create friendships. Um, it also helps build their self-esteem and makes the classroom a little more fun. Um, one thing it also that it does, it helps their build their future too um, for their um, future careers or jobs. One thing that employers are realizing is that the traditional way to teach the students is not producing effective um, employees that they want when they graduate. Because companies are now seeing that they uh, work better in teams to um, get one common goal. So they need employees who can work together as a team to analyze, um, evaluate, and find solutions together. Um, over the past hundred years, researchers have focused on such a diverse outcome as achievements, higher level of reasoning, retention, task on time, AV analyst learning, achievement, motivation, intrinsic motivation, continuing motivation, social and cognitive development, moral reasoning, perspective thinking, or talking, interpersonal attraction, social support, friendships, reduction of stereotypes and prejudice, values, uh, value differences, psychological health, self-esteem, social competencies, internationalization of values, the quality of learning environment, and many other outcomes. And these are just uh, a little list that uh, off of my article at W. Uh, Johnson, uh, T. Johnson and Stain um, wrote on their paper. And these are just, they did um, four studies um, in their classrooms. And these are just some of the outcomes that they found when they uh, worked with their students. Um, examples that you can have for creating uh, cooperative learning in the classroom is doing group projects, whether you're doing it for social studies or math or any other type of English, you can create a project where they all work together in class or outside of class, and that's creating cooperative learning. Also, for like an English class, if you're doing uh, an English reading, assign it for them to read together, and then afterwards they can talk about it with each other and discuss what they all found out about the uh, reading assignment. You can incorporate games. Uh, I'm going to be a math major uh, teacher. So from, I could do like around the world with the games, but do a little bit more thinking than just one plus one plus two, just do a, a little bit higher math problems and stuff. And another way, you could also do group quizzes. Um, instead of not the test, but do quizzes and stuff where they sit down and they uh, collaborate what they've learned and try to uh, achieve uh, a kind of goal. And then now we're going to do one game in class. Just a really quick one, just to kind of um, show that cooperative learning is fun and it helps out a little bit. Um, we're going to do stuff on tables, um, so if you don't table three people. Um, we're going to take 20 seconds, um, and you're all going to see if you can write down everybody's name in the classroom. And we're going to uh, show that just working together, you guys can learn more. Hopefully this will teach you guys your needs to look better too. So, uh, a one person that's an to sign everybody's name, or write everybody's name down, yeah. and then uh, I'll give you a little bit of figure out which Andrea, the national Anna, Anna, Sammy, <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Zoe, <laughs> Sam, Mike, and Zoe. We've got them yeah. all. <laughs> well, we <don't>. cheated. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Wally, <laughs> Sam, we cheated. Maddie. No cheating either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Two mics, Paige, Anna, Andrea. Rachel, Will, Celeste. It's something else with the Y. Nathan, Ricky, Emma, Wally, Sam, 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 Sam,
she's in choir. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna oh, fight now. Right now. See how many names you guys have fought. No, may not have all of them. <laughs> well, did anybody get all of them? We think so. One, two, two teams? Three teams? You've got all the names, but you don't know how to mention them. That works. So, three teams out of the group. So, please get all of them. How many got. Um, 20, 20 of the names. Can we get 20 of them? Do we have 20 people here? <laughs> Can anybody get more than 15? We had it. 15? <laughs> so, working together, you can also show that you guys can come up with and remember a lot of everybody's names and stuff more than what you probably would have on your phone. That's my, 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 my,